My name is Harrison Shaw. I'm an arborist representative for Bartlett Tree Experts, and today we are looking at a European beech, or Fagus sylvatica. This is a mature European beech. It belongs to the beech family, Fagaceae. Chestnuts, oaks, and beech trees all fall under that category. It's often referred to as the finest specimen tree. European beech is often characterized by the elephant skin bark. Which is such a popular plant here in New England because of the beauty and size of these trees. Um, there's really no replacement for a tree that, that looks like this. This beach in particular right here is probably over 90 feet in height. Roughly five and a half, six foot in diameter. It's probably 100 to 150 years old. Look at it. You can walk back for 100 paces and not be able to see the top of the crown. European beach in New England is believed to have been brought over early 1800s. Um, it's a significant tree in this area because it was commonly planted um, early on as a, a feature tree in American landscapes. Beaches are a great option for a hedge plant because it can tolerate really aggressive pruning. There are dozens of different kinds of European beech. You have copper beech, fern leaf beech, tricolor beech. It's important for the birds and animals in the area over the winter because it provides a lot of winter mast with the beech nut. The fruit drops just before winter Within a few weeks or so, you'll see the wildlife has cleaned all of them up. So American beech you'll find all the way up into Canada, stretching down through the Appalachian Trail, east to west from the coast as far as the state of Michigan, but it'll vary based on elevation. European beech, pretty similar in range. I think it'll depend on areas that it was popularly planted. European beech prefers acidic, loamy, Moist, sandy soil that's well draining. That's probably the most important part is that it's well draining because the tree is tolerant of a lot of things, but excess moisture is not one of them. All beech are characterized by these pointed, long buds like this. A lot of the times on twigs, you'll see these lenticels on both European and American beech. Lenticels are used for a lot of things, but the primary function is, is for gas exchange. European beech leaf differs from American beech leaves because of the size. Typically European beech leaves are going to be shorter and wider. And the new growth is bronze. There's an army of pests that come after European beech, whether it's insect or disease. Your primary pest concerns with European beech today are going to be beech leaf disease and phytophthora bleeding canker. Beech leaf disease is caused by a foliar feeding nematode. One of the symptoms is the intervenal banding that you'll see and curled or cupped foliage um, and a generally sick looking tree. With beech leaf disease, the tree is basically robbed of carbohydrates and it'll continually get defoliated until it's used all of its photosynthate. Here in the greater Boston area, we look at every beech tree as though it has beech leaf disease. Beech leaf disease, as threatening as it may be, is manageable with the treatment program. Bartlett Tree Experts Research Lab has recently come up with a few different methods of treating beech leaf disease on both European and American beech. The best approach to keeping your European beach healthy is preventative care, starting with soil care, pruning maintenance, and preventative treatments if needed. If you have a beach tree on your property, whether it's American or European beach, I think you should contact your Bartlett Arborist and get an assessment done to see whether it's a good candidate for treatment or not. 
Also, look at this thing. <laughs> it's, it's huge. They're beautiful trees. <laughs> it's, they're always so grand, and when you walk up to them, uh, you can't help but look up. <laughs>